Our Heart of the Valley series takes us to Cameron County tonight. A group of veterans there are doing what they can to protect a unique piece of history. That piece of history is from the Vietnam War. Channel 5's Joel Villanueva joins us in our studio with more. Marines took with them two American flags during the evacuation of the U.S. Embassy in Saigon. One of them was posted outside the embassy. That one was given to the U.S. ambassador. The other American flag was posted inside the embassy, and that ceremonial flag is considered the last U.S. flag to fly in Vietnam. This is it today in Brownsville, where a group of Valley veterans has made it their mission to protect it. Inside this IBC bank vault, you'll find a one-of-a-kind keepsake, an American flag with a special story. We are the caretakers of it, and, uh, you know, uh, we'll take care of it until the day we die. It's this flag Marines were able to rescue as Vietnamese inside the U.S. Embassy were trying to destroy it. This is where the South Vietnamese try to rip it here, and uh, this is where they try to pour a flammable fluid on it, try to burn it. They couldn't do it. And uh, this yellow here, it's my understanding, according to the men that rescued it, that's urine. The Vietnamese were upset about not being evacuated, but before they could destroy this flag, a Marine lieutenant came to its rescue. He fought off the Vietnamese and saved the flag. That lieutenant kept the flag for years until he gave it to a veteran from La Feria, who in turn gave it to Tony Garcia. We thought at one time about getting it laundered, but uh, we thought that we would lose its value, so we have it in this original uh, condition. It came out of Vietnam. Garcia founded Warriors United in Arms. It's a nonprofit group made up of veterans that help other veterans. In addition to assisting veterans in need, the group also cares for this flag. They share its story and they show it to the public. We got it and preserved it and it's we built the case that, that, it's, that holds it in place. We're holding it for every, every uh, veteran that served in the, in the U.S. military, for every uh, serviceman and woman that, that didn't come back from Vietnam and uh, it, it is just an honor. The University of Texas is offered to buy the flag but this Valley group has said no. They want this historical flag to stay here in South Texas, where its story can live on through Warriors United in Arms. That flag represents the 50 plus thousand people who fought and died in this war. And the fact that we have that flag to keep their memory alive is why we are so covetous of that flag. Hopefully we'll pass it on to the uh, younger generation. We fought for this flag and uh, we love the flag dearly. We respect it, we show it the, the respect that it uh, deserves and the respect that it earns. Throughout the year, the Brownsville group displays a flag at special ceremonies and events. This December, the group will make their longest drive with the flag yet as they take it to a college football game up in Fort Worth, the Armed Forces Bowl. They'll display this flag outside the stadium and they also hope to have it on the field for pregame ceremonies. In the studio, Joel Villanueva. Channel 5 News.